Hello everyone, welcome to this episode, Who Are You? Today we're going to be combining some powerful topics. The foundation of our identity, what it means to be created in God's image, and understanding that we are chosen and loved by God. Identity is a core part of who we are. It shapes how we see ourselves, how we interact with others, and how we live our lives. But too often, our identity is influenced by the world around us, rather in the truth of what God says we are. Today, we're going to explore the foundation of identity. Let's start by understanding the concept of identity. Our identity is foundational to our lives. It affects our decisions, our relationship, and our sense of purpose. But where does identity come from? Well, the Bible tells us clearly. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2 verse 10. God created us with a purpose and a plan. We are his handiwork, his masterpiece. This means that our identity is rooted in the fact that we are made in God's image for him and for a purpose. But there's more. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, we read, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. Through faith in Jesus, we are given a new identity. We are no longer defined by our past mistakes our failures, or even what others say about us. We are a new creation in Christ. This new identity means that we are forgiven, redeemed, and loved unconditionally. Ephesians 1 verse 4 to 5 tells us that God chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ. So before the world was even created, God chose you and loved you. He planned for you to be a part of his family. That is your true identity, chosen, loved, and adopted by God. Now let's talk about being created in God's image. Genesis 1 verse 27 says, So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. This is a powerful truth about our identity. Being created in God's image means that we have inherent value and worth. We are a reflection of his creativity, his ability to love, and his capacity for relationship. This truth is foundational to understand who we are. Let's break this down even further. Being made in God's image means we have a unique design and purpose. Psalm 139 verse 14 says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. You are wonderfully made by a loving creator. Think about the implications of this. You are not an accident. You are intentionally designed with care and purpose. This should shape the way that we see ourselves and others. Every single person that you meet is also made in God's image, deserving of dignity and respect. Now let's explore the beautiful truth that we are chosen and loved by God. Ephesians 1 verse 4 to 5 tells us, For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will. This means that God's love for us is not based on performance or our past. It is based on his character and his choice to love us. We are chosen by God not because of what we've done, but because of who He is. Understanding this can really transform the way we live our lives. When we know that we are loved unconditionally, we can live with confidence and security. We don't have to strive for acceptance or fear rejection because we are already fully accepted in Christ. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 says, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Embrace this truth. You are God's special possession. You are chosen, royal, and holy. Your identity is secure in him. So how do we live out our identity? It starts by believing and accepting what God says about us. Romans 12 verse 2 encourages us to not conform to the ways of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. We need to renew our minds with the truth of God's word. That is what is going to shape our thoughts and decisions. Here's a few practical steps to help you live out your identity. 
Number one, spend time in God's word. Read and meditate on scripture to remind yourself of who you are and who God says you are. Number two, prayer. Communicate with God daily. Seek his guidance and affirmation from him. Number three, surround yourself with believers. Engage in a supportive community that reinforces your identity in Christ. And number four, affirmations. Speak biblical truths over yourself. For example, I am a child of God or I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Now remember, your identity is not defined by the world, but by the creator who calls you his own. But your identity is not just in understanding who you are. It's also about understanding your worth, your purpose and the promises of God that was made to us. Let's start by understanding your worth in Christ. Often we measure our worth by worldly standards, our achievements, our looks or what others think of us. But the Bible gives us a different perspective. You are precious and honored in my sight and because I love you, Isaiah 43 verse four. God tells us that we are precious and honored in his sight. He loves us deeply and values us immensely. Our worth is not based on what we do, but on who we are to him. Think about this. The creator of the universe considers you precious. Your worth is so great that Jesus laid down his life for it. Romans 5 verse 8 says, God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus' sacrifice just shows how valuable you are. Your worth is found in his love and his sacrifice, not in the changing standards of this world. Next, let's talk about living with purpose. Ephesians 2 verse 10 reminds us, for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. God has a specific purpose for each of us. We are created intentionally and designed to fulfill his plans. Our purpose is not just to exist, but to make a difference in this world through the good works that God has prepared for each of us. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Living with purpose means aligning our lives with God's plans. It's about using our gifts, talents, passions to serve him and others. It's about making an impact and leaving a legacy of faith. Lastly, let's explore the importance of embracing God's promises. The Bible is full of promises from God that affirm our identity and give us hope. One of the most comforting promises to me is found in Deuteronomy 31 verse 8. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid do not be discouraged. This promise assures us that we are never alone. God is always with us, guiding us, providing for us. His presence is constant in our lives no matter what we face. God promises to meet our need and provide for us abundantly. When we embrace his promises, we can live with confidence and peace, knowing that he is faithful and his word is true. So how do we live out our worth in Christ, our purpose and God's promises? It starts with internalizing these truths and letting them transform our hearts and minds. Remember your worth is found in Christ. You have a God given purpose and God's promises are true and reliable. Embrace these truths and let them guide your life. So in closing, you are precious and you are honored in God's sight. You are created with a purpose and covered by his promises. In the next episode, we are going to be going further into these types of topics. So don't forget to hit that notification bell so you are notified. Thanks again for watching and remember you are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Bye. Say bye.